So I'm going to show you the Tableau visualization for Kern County, California, which is in Northern California, a county of about a million people. Those community leaders have made a commitment to end chronic homelessness, which is long term homelessness among people with disabilities. And this dashboard allows those community leaders to be able to look month over month how many people across our county of a million people are experiencing chronic homelessness. Are all of these investments and activities adding up to fewer people experiencing homelessness this month than last month? And as you can see, they have done an incredible job over the last six months of really driving reductions and using this data to make decisions about how to do that. And I think that's the key is that looking at this information every single month allows those leaders, implementers to decide when something's working and they should scale or double down or when they need to, something that they hypothesized with work would work is not happening the way that they expected. And as you can see, they held under three people experiencing chronic homelessness for four months. And then in May of 2020, it ticked up. Um, but this data allows them to go deeper and really see why did it tick up and how might, what levers do we need to pull? And I think Louise talked about the bathtub and we think about that as how many people and who is coming into the system every month, which are the purple bars on this graph, and then who is exiting and how many people are exiting every single month, the homeless response system. And what do we need to do to pull those levers to be able to drive reductions? And as you can see here, in November of 2018, um, the little red dot at the bottom there square lit up to tell that community, hey, inflow into homelessness is exceeding outflow. Something's going on here. You need to pay attention or you're losing ground. And then those leaders can dig in and say, OK, of the total people who came in, 21 people who came into homelessness this month, how many were completely new to the system? And how many people did we know were housed and fall out at the end? And as you can see, all of them were completely new, which means the right strategy there is partnership with upstream institutional players to figure out what is it going to take to keep people from coming into the system. And then in the same way, they can dig into outflow and say, OK, of the people that exited the homeless response system, how many were people we housed? How many people disappeared? And the strategies that community would use to, to accelerate outflow would be different, right? If they need to work on bringing new resources to bear, improving the housing placement process versus expanding outreach and navigation if people are disappearing. So, you know, this is a little bit wonky, but the point of all of it is that it equips community leaders and implementers with the information they need to know are we designing a system that is capable of driving reductions and iterate and learn and create a data culture which allows that to happen at the community level and you know our dream is that every county in america has a dashboard like this that is transparent and public and allows them to iterate and learn but also holds them accountable for ending homelessness which is completely within our reach